Good evening, everyone, from Vancouver. This is Eddie Olchek, and I am Mike Emrick, and we're thrilled to be here, not only because of the memory of the Winter Olympics in 2010 when Canada prevailed in men's hockey, but also the many experiences we've had coming here over the years. What stands out for you? Well, the fan base, Doc. Uh, win or lose, rain or shine, and there's a little bit of rain in Vancouver. The franchise gets great support from their fan base, and they become a perennial favorite to win the Stanley Cup. Recent success of getting to a Stanley Cup final a couple of years ago the 2010 Olympics. I live in Vancouver and for those Olympics I was living right downtown where hundreds of thousands of people were walking around the streets. The vibe in the city was just absolutely incredible. The venues were great and on top of it we got fabulous hockey. It was a great place to be. Off his mask. No shadow of the boards here. Speeds right on goal. And so we've been on the receiving end of more than a few of these things. This is why you retire from the game. What a gorgeous hit. For, that is one solid keep, and play can continue. Slid to Placanis. Plays a little catch here. Kick save. Pitched right ahead through center. Got on by with that one. Sticked away. Let's it go. Outstanding save by Locke. The Canucks need to acknowledge their goaltender after one of the better saves you will ever see. Somebody get this guy a stake. Not a problem there. Freezes play. The X is looking for some trouble here. Hurry up already. Drop your gloves. No need for this fight to take place at this time. Both guys turn their backs and get back into the play. The teams have offsetting two-minute penalties. Great job by the official. He's taking control of the game. Offsetting penalties on both sides. 20 minutes played. Just like we started. Scoreless. Bet you'd like to know what the shots were. Nine for the Canadians and eight for Vancouver. Montreal's offensive game was relentless in the first period. Here in a second, they need to get more people in front of the net to not allow that red-hot goaltender to see a lot of the pucks coming his way. Underway here in the second period of a scoreless game. Enormous collision. That one fired down. The defense will win the race and icing is called. Pacioretty's annoyed. Might be something here. He's had this look in his eyes all night long. Sides on the area behind. Angled to Galchenyuk. On to Parento. Shook right through. Save! Good job with the poke check. Got it at the point. Slid just inside the line to Subban. Outstanding save. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. Defensive zone win. Slides it to the point to Bieksa. He could start some danger here. Wonderful save on the redirect. Good position in the slot. He scores! We've got a score in the game other than 0-0 zero, zero now. You get to this high-scoring area, a wrist shot is a great choice. The passer recognizes that he's got to get the puck up in the air, but he displays sweet hands as it goes just over the stick and lands flat on the ice. man over the boards on this delayed penalty call. Shoots in on goal and easily handled. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at and he made it tough. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. This is an easy call for the official. You must let the goaltender play his position especially when he's in the blue paint. He can start some danger here. Back near the blue line to Subban. Using the point. 
In the slot, he's taking a perfect centering pass. Great save. An unbelievable stop. The exit to Burroughs. Three on one, you can just spell a goal. Right winged to Borg. Tipped in, and they'll change lines. The drama heightens in this final minute of the second period. It's an onside play. Gets on by. Oh, that's a great save by Locke. The Canucks go back in their own end. Not a lot of time left for this rush. Vancouver's going to begin the quick road back. Could be trouble near the line. That's two periods in the books. One more to go, but a rest comes first. As is our custom, we look now at the shots on goal. Wow, does anybody play defense here? 21 for Montreal and 18 for the Canucks. Verbata's goal came early in that period and nothing happened on the score sheet after. We are at intermission time. Can he generate something from there? He is shut right off. There's a phrase in hockey, hit or be hit. That's exactly what happened. Great job on a cut pass. To Burroughs. Let's go, Arister. Score! Burroughs knew he was in a prime scoring area, so he went to the wrist shot and scored. Oh, Enzo, he's totally fooled here. He thinks the puck's directly at him, and he gets himself in a straight up and down position. Lots of room for the puck to work its way in. To Galchenyuk. Off his pad. Shot. Outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. They do next. He's got that centering pass. Terrific pad save. Poke checked away by Edler. Right in front. Blocked with the pad. Up the wing with it now. He's into the slot. Oh, great save there. Huh? On to D'Arnais. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Perfect receipt of the pass. Score! He went to the net, screened the goaltender, and deflected the puck all in the same play. Lacks an excellent position for the shot, but it's deflected, and he really doesn't have much chance on it. Just past five minutes to go in the third. And so when all is lost and we don't know what to say, we go to Ray. Edler's laid the body on all over the place tonight. He's been like a one-man wrecking crew. Picked up in the attacking zone. Fires! Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity to that pass and looks on. Nice poke check by Daniel Sedin. Gets on by. Oh, stick save. Late in the game, the outcome is still in doubt. Up, bumpy rides ahead. The Canucks shift from defense to offense. Slid to Verbata. He gets that pass ahead in stride. Knocks it away with the stick. Montreal's going to begin the quick road back to Gallagher. Gains the zone. Behind the net. A shot. They score! And this one has been tied. Half the people were leaving. You want to score goals? You've got to get to this area of the ice. Lack's made himself a little smaller here. It's opened up some room over his stick side shoulder.
Montreal's got it off the draw at center. Number 68, Yarmir Jagger. Defense to offense, begun by Ham Hughes. To Dorson. Thomas Flakenis. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 42. He can start some danger here. Great work with the pad. He's in front with it. The game is knotted up as we're headed to overtime. All right, let's take a look at the shots on goal at the end of 60 minutes of play. 33 for the Canadians and 26 for Vancouver. Hockey is a 60-minute game, but it can go longer. This is the one that will send us longer. Intermission is here. Moves up the wing, directed to Pacioretty. Wrist shot, wonderful save in the net by Markov. Taken up near the boards by Pacioretty. Cut on by with that one. Drives to the crease. Down, it is offside. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Lack's been under incredible pressure almost all night. There's been traffic right on top of his crease, yet he's had to battle through it, and he's been excellent in goal. Long lead pass to Pekanis. Sent on goal. Routine save there. A wonderful save in the goal crease. What quickness side to side. That one's tipped. Big pad save. Draw the tie up and his team prevails. Edler's carrying it through center. Lack save has kept his team in it. At the end of the period, intermission is next. They've played a long time and have settled nothing. So they'll do it with the exhibition of a shootout. He makes the save. Finning, and here's who's up. An outstanding save. Score! Verbata's at his best when it's on the line, and it is now. You have the look on his face, Doc, like he enjoyed all that pressure to keep the shootout moving ahead. If he scores, the heat goes to the enemy. Higgins is aware of the map. Got to get this one. Outstanding save, and the shootout's over. And the game is over. Vancouver's failed yet again to win a shootout. Good thing for them, you get a point in losing in a shootout. So that is it for this one. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good night all.